So, Slave Warrior Queen by Morgan Rice. And by the looks of the previous writings of her, of Morgan, she has written a lot. So there is likely going to be a lot of different perspectives of her books and likely this one as well. <laughs> so I got this, this one for under five dollars, if not free. <laughs> Bookbubs. Bookbud. Bookbub.com. Check it out if you haven't already. It's fantastic. <laughs> like, you might not find, like, I haven't seen, like, a Cassandra Clare book or Jodie Pickalt one on there, but you do see uh, quite a number of books under, like, $5. <laughs> but anyway, you, we meet Circe's. So, in Delos. So she is our main character, and so we kind of meet her and her brother and friends at the Festival of the Killings. So that's kind of, in my take, it's, like for me, in my take, it's more like, almost like um, gladiators. So you don't want to, like, I don't know if she I want to outright wants to call it gladiators but it's called the festival of the killings <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong if it's like the exact same thing if not the same thing so a lot happens to this girl like she has a good relationship with her father like, he teaches her to be, like, uh, like, to fight with different weapons and, cause, like, he's a bladesmith, so she learns how to, like, fight and do all these things with stuff he would have likely made. So, so she's pretty good and ends up saving, like, Prince Thino's life. So, between, and so, they kind of help each other out, but one of her friends, Rexus, who is with Nesu and Sartis, her brothers, are in a rebellion, and there's somewhat of a love interest kind of thing going on, but Thinos falls in love with her, and there's almost a love triangle going on, but there's Stefina who wants, who was promised to marry Thinos, and not liking the idea of him like, no, I'm more interested in her, and she's, she's basically like, the snotty <laughs> capital B in this story uh, almost to the level of like the queen Thino's mother in this but both his parents are kind of like expected royals that you would <laughs> get in some books uh, her but Circe's mom they Circe's and her mom they don't get along and Sold into slavery is a good example. But this starts her journey through, like, fully meaning the Thinos and her adventure into, like, the revolution I'm seeing the side of, like, the king and, like, the emperor and, like, Oh my goodness, like, I kind of like, kind of like this, but kind of didn't, because a lot of, there were a few different aspects thrown at me, like, but if you like backstabbing, choose size, you got, you got it in this book, 
you got uh, Cosmos, who Thino's like has like a father son, a good father son relationship with. He's kind of like truth sayer almost in this book, and so. Like, a few different things happen in this book, and I'm having, a, like, almost a hard time processing this, but it's almost, like, to me, like, this is the first book in, I don't know if it's, like, a trilogy, but I think there's at least three books in this series, and, yeah, you got a lot of twists and turns in this one, and to me, this one's almost like Les Mis esque <laughs> kind of happenings going on. Like, it's definitely not like Romeo and Juliet. It's more on the Les Mis kind of spectrum. <laughs> so, if you are a fan of Morgan Rice and haven't read this book already, or if you like almost. Rome, Greek, kind of storytelling. It is a young adult YA novel. So there. So if you're just a fan of like YA, uh, it is a fantasy kind of book. So you got a, So you got that, and yeah, you got a lot of. She's going on <laughs> in a few hundred pages. So, Slave Warrior Queen by Morgan Rice. Happy readings.